Hey everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to set up Bluetooth devices on Linux. So to start off, I'm using the Cinnamon desktop environment. It's found on a lot of different desktops. I use Arch Linux, just so you know, to get this out of the way, because I need to tell you that because every Bluetooth setup is kind of different. So to start off, I, I went through and I ran through my journal CTL, uh, and this is just, it shows what system D does and it shows here that I have Bluetooth running now in Arch Linux I have to do this command here to make it work make Bluetooth work manually it doesn't just work out of the box if you're using Ubuntu or another Linux distribution that you download releases for Bluetooth is going to be working out of the box and um, the reason I'm talking about this also is because even though cinnamon uses blueberry which is the Bluetooth manager that does not mean that the Bluetooth setup is different on each desktop. So to start off, keep in mind, if you're using KDE, you'll see the Bluetooth icon here. You may see it on Cinnamon in some cases too. For some reason, it's not doing it for me. On GNOME, you'll see it in the top corner up here. And in general, a foolproof way to make sure that you can connect to Bluetooth on your, on your desktop is number one, if you don't see any Bluetooth uh, information you should do what I did here which is just journal CTL grab Bluetooth and this will go through and it'll let you know if the if network manager and everything else is using Bluetooth that's what I did but in addition uh, instead of relying on the panel here to get to Bluetooth what you should do is just search for Bluetooth now this will work on every single desktop environment if you're using something like Mate which doesn't have a search by default you can add the search menu. But once you've done that, you just make sure that the switch is clicked or if you go into settings, you make sure that these settings here, in every Bluetooth app on Linux, it's about the same. Just make sure that you can receive files and that shows a tray icon and is enabled, right? which as you can see, I have the setting right here enabled. So I'm gonna connect my iPhone to my Linux desktop really quick because it's a device that I have that's readily available for Bluetooth. So to do that, I need to go to the device that I'm trying to connect with, and that is, in this case, that's my iPhone, because, you know, it's searching for devices, and uh, it should come up. But once I tap Arch Linux Desktop on my iPhone, something should pop up, and as you can see right here, it says Derek's iPhone not set up. I can click it. and it'll show me this pin number. Now this pin number is going to appear no matter what desktop environment or Bluetooth connection manager you see. This is just a skin. They all use the same uh, overall technology. But anyways, when I click a pair of device, it will show me Bluetooth pairing request. Now this only really happens with devices that have screens. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna click pair on my iPhone and then I'm gonna click confirm on my desktop. Now by doing that, it should go through and connect. And as you can see, for some reason it's disconnected, but I can go back and I can click here and select the device to be connected. And now I know it's paired. And uh, that's how you connect to Bluetooth devices. So we should probably talk about how to disconnect devices. Again, I can't do every single desktop environment. I, I wouldn't, there wouldn't be enough time in the day to show you how to connect through every single desktop ever. But the good news is if you look to the description, we have a detailed article that will go over the mainstream desktop environments and teach you a little bit more in depth on how to use Bluetooth connections. But that said, once you have a connected device, you know, and in, in, in Cinnamon it's Blueberry, but there's also the GNOME device manager. They all pretty much look like this. Just click on your device and then you just click remove device. And this will warn you and it'll tell you, oh, hey, you know, this device is gonna get disconnected. Just click the remove button. And uh, from there, I can see that my device is no longer in Bluetooth. And if I disconnect my dongle from my desktop here, Bluetooth will stop searching altogether because there will be no device at all to, to use. And, f and if I want to go even further and make sure that Bluetooth is completely turned off, I can go sudo system ctl stop Bluetooth. 
and this it'll stop the Bluetooth in its tracks and if I want to permanently disable it I can do disable and this will take out the system D services that are using Bluetooth so uh, this is just how to connect to Bluetooth devices once again guys I can't go through all six seven desktop environments but like I've said throughout the video the Bluetooth manager is about the same so don't get worried or frustrated if my video isn't focusing on exactly the one that you use please just check the description and we'll walk you through it so this has been Derek and I will see you next time Thank you.